Welcome back to the channel guys, Expose and Educate, still in Gloucester, but we are at the Territorial Army Barracks, so it's uh, a home to a few things, you've got your Army Cadets, 6th Battalion, A Company, 6 Rifles, they're recruiting, So, uh, from looking on the internet, guys, we've got Whiskey Troop, 53 Signal Squadron, Wales and Western. Like Their role is Combat Support, part of the 39th Signal Regiment. Uh, CO is Major Christopher McGrath, They're an Army Reserve Squadron. As you saw on the banner, 6th Rifle Company, A Company. Uh, you know, you need to be 18 years old to join the rifles. The road's a bit noisy, guys, I've got to say. So, yeah, you've got to be 18 years old. Uh, and the maximum age is 43, although in some circumstances they let you stay longer. The pay that you get for being a Territorial Army Reservist is according to rank. But it starts at £40.13. And it rises to £51.22 a day when you become officially a private, so that means after training. This includes being paid to weekly drill nights, plus if you complete all of your annual training days, you're entitled to a tax-free lump sum. And that's called a bounty, so you still get a bounty. Uh, you will also be included in the Army Pension Scheme and earn a day's paid holiday for every 10 days you spend training. So you can see it's a worthwhile thing to do. Um, it's also the home of 81, sorry, 8, oh, I'll get my words at 181 City of Gloucester Air Cadets Training Corps. You've got to be between 12 and 17 to join them. Um, and once you're in, you can actually stay until you're 20 years old. Then I think the idea is you either leave or you go off and join the Royal Air Force. So the commanding officer of the Gear Cadets is Flight Lieutenant David Middleton. And they currently have about 40 cadets on the books. And it's also the base for SAFA, which is a local armed forces charity, and they were formed in 1885. So if you want to check out anything about SAFA, go to their website and uh, find out all the information you need. Same with the A Company 6th Battalion Rifles, same with the 43 Signal Squadron, all the information's out there. All you've got to do is type it in and have a look, guys. So we're just going to have a little walk down this way because one thing I couldn't find out about this was how long it had been here. But obviously, originally, you would have had, uh, by the look of it, forces housing. That now looks like it's the Saffa base. I'm assuming that over the back here that they've got some sort of garaging for their vehicles. I don't know if you'll be able to see that from this angle. So that's just over the back there. So we'll have a little walk up this way. See if we can see anything else. 
so I'll drop it there and pick it up when something interesting happens or we get approached. So I've just come back on guys because we're just going down the a public footpath which is alongside the barracks. Some work going on by the look of it. Not a lot to see but I did think I would show you that there is a, a path down the back here. Not too muddy. So we'll see where it leads and I'll pick it up in a bit. So as with everything guys a little bit of space this is obviously or was <coughs> excuse me a road into the barracks at some stage and they look as though they've sold this bit off so can't see a sign of how many houses or flats are being built but that's obviously what's being built there how many houses are being built mate nine nine well it looks bigger than that doesn't it so yeah, so nine houses there, guys. So you can see the remnants of the, uh, the barrack entrance way here. Obviously looking a bit worse for wear now. And obviously this is the, the back end of the wall. Again, looks like it's been clumped a couple of times. And uh, you can see the old brackets for the old gates. So they've stuck these new gates on now to protect the building site from, from theft and all the rest of it. We're not going to go in because we're not allowed to. Clear sign there says keep out. Uh, although it does say high visibility jackets must be worn, safety helmets and protective footwear. And yet everyone I've seen so far is not wearing high vis or helmets um, which is very interesting a couple of guys up on the top all right. <laughs> not really very pleasant don't want to wave back that's fine we understand all that obviously don't want to be caught doing sweet FA I'm just have a little stroll down this little bit here because they are keeping the public footpath open which is good to see so yeah so like the guys said only nine being built on here Gloucestershire, Gloucestershire being a fairly good place to live you can imagine each one of those are going to be quite expensive so yeah as you can see there's a little bit of a deceiving sight because it's got an angle at the back coming across which reduces the space obviously at the moment you've got the soil tip that will probably be reused to landscape the gardens so yeah so not a lot to see there so okay. i'm fine mate how are you not a bad day for it good good yeah so i wonder if they'll they'll leave the fence up for the residents when they finally sell the properties it'd be nice to think they would so I'm not sure what the big house is probably find that that's something to do with the army still so what we will do guys we will leave these guys to carry on with their working day drop it down pick it up when we get back around the front so yeah this has got to be uh, some sort of MT shed I would imagine as I say not too much to see there I wonder if some of these properties are being done up to sell on or whether they are just handing them over to things like the cadet units or the SAFA charity so 
So surprisingly guys, no military vehicles to see. The hut at the back there is for the uh, cadet training. We were approached when we first arrived, but I was uh, doing my intro, so I chose not to speak at the time. I don't know if that's alleviated any concerns or not, I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see uh, contact details for Safa, up on the wall. Another one I've noticed is it's 243 Wessex Field Hospital, Gloucester Detachment. Off platform repair platoon 160 company, Remy. All the other signs you've seen already. So, nothing to say how old the place is. Um, we're going to have a look at this sign just here in a moment. When this guy in the van disappears. Nice to see the Union flag fluttering in the wind. Alright mate. Not, not a good idea to stand behind people. Because you might get thumped. So obviously this is the rifles flag guys. Looking a bit worse for wear. A little bit tatty around the edges but then you'd have thought they'd have paid some money to get it fixed. So army cadets. Level up. So we'll have another little walk around this way. See what we can see. I've got to be honest, I was expecting to see a fair bit of movement just in case they were sending anything out to Europe for support because as we all know, the TA no the TA now go anywhere that the regular army go. So we'll just have a little wander around this way. There is a little bit of interest in us, but um, at present, nobody overstepping the mark. As I said, I was approached earlier, but I chose to ignore him. And he doesn't seem to want to come back for a second bite. See, it's, it's funny things in life, isn't it? If you want to shield something, you know, you can put gates up and everything, but how about trees? You know, you put trees up like that, for instance, you can't see through, or at least what you can see isn't very clear. So doesn't that make a bit of sense? So obviously we've got the roll security on the top of the fence around this side, which doesn't make a lot of sense overall because... We haven't got it anywhere else. So this is the back end of the barracks. Just trying to get this uh, camera to go through the bars. Probably banging again guys, apologies for that. The new gimbal's a different shape, so I'm still getting used to it. When you had it out, this is the second day. So more, more vehicle sheds. And obviously that's a training unit there, I'm assuming. And again, I would think back that these were probably military homes when this was built. I don't know how old it is, there was nothing on the website. Couldn't find it. So, and here we got the back end. <coughs> clang, clang, sorry guys. And pretty much whoop, nothing to see up there. Come on, camera focus. Yeah. 
fence is causing it problems. So yeah, not a lot to see guys. We're gonna head off back around the front. Hang about there for a little bit, see if we can see any comings or goings. See if we can tempt anybody to come and have a chat. So there's a little bit of action going on up this way. I think he's a uniformed personnel by the look of it. Looks a little bit overweight to be regular army or even TA to that. Doesn't look as though he's done a battle fitness test for some time. Doesn't look as though he's coming down though, he seems to have diverted somewhere else, so that's fine. We can leave that. And what we'll do, we'll drop it. And maybe pick it up in a bit. So just heading back up the roadway to the gates, guys. And that will probably do us here. And I have just spotted over the road. Raw mail depot, which we may well go and visit in a second. We will wait and see. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Could you tell me when this place was built? 1950s, mate. 1950s. I yeah. couldn't find anything on the website whatsoever. No, you won't. You no? won't. Because it's part of the old one Gloucesters. Ah, right, okay. So it's got which some good which history used then. used to go up Robinswood Hill. Right. Yeah, this was the offshoot. Excellent. Oh. Yeah. So That's why you... it looks uh, so new then. I say new, I mean... Yeah, right. -o. You know, compared so to some you, places. So if you go down... Oh. If you go over Met's Way to the mini roundabout up okay. there, turn right. Yeah. Go down that, you'll see the bridge over the top end of Barton Street. Right. And right on the corner, there's a Sphinx Youth Club. Gotcha. That used to be the regimental headquarters for right. this and the barracks okay. up there. Yeah. So it is sort of fairly multi purpose now, isn't it? What with the, uh, the different lots? Yeah. Yeah. I know it's possibly a security question, but I'll ask it and you can choose to answer it if you can. Yeah. Have any of these guys been called up to go out to Europe in support? Because I know the TA is being used more and now, more. Now, yeah. Firstly, not being nicky piggy, there's no such thing as the TA anymore. Oh right, okay. Right, it's <laughs> army. Giving reserve. me age away. Sorry, yeah, army, army reserve. reserve. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I honestly don't know. No. Okay. The only thing I'm concerned about at the moment, being a Chelsea supporter, uh, is what's fucking happening to Roman Abramovich, because yeah. it's a travesty of justice. Have you have you seen he's taken his yacht down to just off Turkey? Yeah. Because um, obviously he he's safe Israel, over there. And allegedly he's now back in Moscow. With right. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame to all Chelsea fans. I'm not a Chelsea fan. Uh, um, because I, I was watching the news first thing and it said that uh, somebody's interested in buying Chelsea yeah. and the guy on the TV said, well, they can't sell it to him. Well, I watched another channel. They can sell it, but it means that his money will be frozen until the Ukraine situation sorted. Yeah. Which doesn't well, help him at all. The thing is, it can't be sold anyway. Right. The buildings around the pitch can be sold. Right. But we supporters own the pitch. Ah, do you? Right, yeah, that's oh, interesting. Yeah. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think it was about 10 quid for a couple of inches. Gotcha. Yeah, so there's a, a good few thousand people that own that pitch. Right. Yeah. So, so here's a question for you then. So because you guys own the pitch, because I take it you bought some turf, does that mean that there's a loophole and you guys could sell tickets? No. So there's, there's still a no. ban on that. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's worrying to see where it's going to go because obviously players still need to be paid. Yeah. Well, there's a special yeah. license from the government. Right. And to be honest, I could 
do Brian in for what he's done. Right. So my argument is, at the start of the pandemic, Mr. Roman graciously allowed the NHS to use his three hotels right. and his restaurants at Stamford Bridge at no cost to them right. and provided food and accommodation for all the doctors, nurses, auxiliaries, everything, fucking free of charge. See, I see that as quite a nice thing. It is a nice thing, <laughs> but that's the sort of guy he is. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it, it's the fact that they've now turned around and stabbed him in the back. Yeah, yeah. No one says, fuck all about the Saudis by Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. Killing men, women and children yeah. out in Yemen. Yeah. They don't say oh, anything about this shake bloody mass mood, whatever. Yeah. Whose government is trying to, to build a nuclear weapon so yeah. they can go and destroy Israel with, yeah. you know. Yeah nothing said about I know that. it's crazy isn't it? and there's so many clubs now with foreign money yeah you know yeah um, oh well anyway thank you for speaking yeah, to no, me no no that's all right um, that's all I right. just got a history of, of yeah. military establishments yeah. and um, I mean if you if you go um, oh god get what it's called if you go online and go to the RGBW website right because they well, no, uh, the Wessex website. Right, okay. 43 Infantry Brigade. This used to be part of 43 Infantry right, Brigade. Right, okay. Yeah, because yeah, I, I have got some notes, but um, the, the website for here wasn't great, I've got to say. So you go on the individual websites for like the Air Cadets and all that sort of stuff, but. Um, oh, Russians are here. <laughs> so one one final question, sir. Yeah. So fifty three signal squadron, yeah. known as Whiskey Troop. I don't know. Right. I, I, I wondered know. if it was just because of the W and the phonetic alphabet, or whether they've got a history. No, I don't know. <laughs> of I drinking know. lots of whiskey. <laughs> all all the people that I know who yeah. used to be in Whiskey Troop have gone. Right. Okay. So I. I so what are you sort of caretaker now or a saffer or? No, I'm, I'm the caretaker. You're the caretaker. Well, you're you're doing a good job because it's are you? not at the moment, no. All right, okay. No, I, I, because this isn't important to the story. You know what I mean? No, right. Um, okay. I just have to hold it up because these gimbals are all geared up and everything. Yeah, 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 and if, you, yeah, yeah. if you're not careful, okay. they overwork. Yeah. yeah. But uh, okay. well, I know you're keeping on top of everything. I mean, I know the grass needs a cut soon, but yeah, well, that's not down that's, to us. That's this time of year, isn't it? You know. Yeah, that's so, um, that's not us. That is down to uh, the contractor. Oh, right, okay. But he, he won't start probably till mid the end of March. Yeah, it's normally that sort of time, isn't yeah. it? Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, thanks for uh, right, talking mate. to me. Much Not appreciated. Okay. You take care. Thank you.